Welcome to this video on turning on undo send in Outlook. So there's a way in Outlook where you can tell it to delay the sending just in case you make an error, you have typed something incorrectly, you've forgotten to add something. It's a very small window, but I don't know about you, but usually when I'm sending something to someone, and it's more than often, it's on text or instant message, I type really quick, I type as I'm thinking, and I don't always type accurately, and then I send it, and I'm like, oh, can... Thankfully, I can edit it, but when you send an email, you can't really edit it once it's sent. But what you can do is you can turn on a short delay so that you've got the opportunity. If you realise straight away you've made a mistake, you can get it back, which is quite useful because it doesn't go immediately. You've got a very short delay. And I'm just going to show you how to turn it on, and then I'll send a quick message and see if I can undo it. So to turn it on, and I'm in Outlook Online here, I'm going to go to the cog, the settings in the top right hand corner, and then I want to be on the email settings on the left hand side. So in Compose and Reply, if you scroll down, I've got loads of things going on in here, but if you keep going, keep going, keep going, you'll see in the middle of my screen on the right there, I've got Undo Send. So at the moment, I haven't got, I've got that set to zero. So it does say that you can cancel up to 10 seconds so you can basically delay the sending up to 10 seconds i want to obviously 10 seconds isn't a massive amount of time so i'm going to kick it in 10 seconds and it's not going to impact me at all if i'm sending a message and that's fine if it doesn't go for 10 seconds it's really not a long time at all but this means now i can cancel it up to 10 seconds if i do an error or anything else. So let's click save and let's just send a message and see what that then looks like. Because this might save you because I am horrendous at typing quickly and not thinking because my brain is on the next thing that I'm doing. So this really, really helps me. So I'm going to click save at the bottom and then I'm just going to come off of here and I'm going to go to my emails and let's just compose a quick email. I can find myself. There we go. Let's just do a test email. Um, so I'm just going to send that across. Let's just make sure I've got everything in my screen. And let's just send that and see what happens. So I'm going to click send. So you can see at the bottom in the grey box, I've got the undo button there, and that's what's appearing to tell me I can stop it. Now it's going to disappear. There we go. That's as quick it is. But if I realise at that point that I've done that wrong, I need to get that back, I can undo it and it won't go. So it gives me that just that little bit of a delay just to help me out to make sure that I'm not I'm not sending anything stupid. I've checked all the spellings and stuff like that. Um, and everyone's brain works differently. Mine just works so fast that I don't think. And after I'm like, ah, did I spell that right? Did I put that person's name on right? Did I copy and paste that right? So it may just save you a couple of times. You may not use it all, but it may be that one time that's really important that you've got it on there. So definitely have that turned on. And then you'll notice that undo button pop up at the bottom, just giving you that peace of mind that you can stop it from being sent and just check it to make sure you're okay. So have a go at that one. I would suggest turning that on because it's very, very useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.